All right, so we'll now create on our user model the relationships between the users based on this friends table, so this user ID and friend ID, and also whether it has been accepted. And then what we're going to do is manually add some rows in here just so we can get a list of Alex's friends. And then we can go ahead and get a list of Billy's friends. So we'll just tie these up to the three users that we currently have. So to start with then, what we're going to do is over on our user model, we can actually create these relationships. So under models and user, let's go down and start to create these. So the first one is going to be a relationship, which is a belongs to many relationship for users based on the friends table. That's going to be the friends of that user. And then we're going to have another method, which is going to be users who have this user as a friend. So it's kind of like a two way thing, your friend and then who has you as a friend. And this way we can kind of combine everything and work out who who's friends with who. So let's start with the first one. We're going to call this friends of mine. And in here, we're going to return this belongs to many. So we have a relationship here. And of course, we have chatty models user. So this is the user model, but we are tying this relationship to the, to the user model. So we're, we're relating it to itself, basically. The pivot table is friends. We've just created that table. And we're matching these up by the user ID. And then the friend ID is our foreign key. So we have this relationship created. This remember is friends of that user. Now we want users who have this user as a friend. So we're going to say public function friend of. I'm going to do pretty much the same thing. So this belongs to many. We're going to have the same model in here. Obviously the same pivot table. This time though, it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be uh, the other way around. So friends ID or friend ID and user ID. So we've got a two way relationship here, which will give us the flexibility we need to work out who's friends with who, who isn't friends with who, uh, a list of our friends, etc. So now we want a general method for the current user's friends, or at least represented by this user model. So we're just going to have a method that name that makes sense, which is just friends. So here, this is a little bit different. Remember, inside of our table, we have accepted. So user ID could, for example, be one. Friend ID could be two. So Alex has added Dale as a friend. Dale might not have accepted, so accepted would be zero to start with. And then when she does accept, then we have a condition in here to only pull back accepted friends. So we're going to write out this now, and then we're going to test what kind of data we get through from this. So we're going to say, return this friends of mine. So remember, this friends of mine here is the friends of this user. And we're going to say where pivot so that's the pivot table which is the friends table accepted is true so it's pulling back friends of this user where the user has accepted now it works in the same it, it, it kind of works in two ways because if for example let's go back to users table if alex adds dale that will be user id one and then user id two so that would mean that Alex's friends is Dale, but Dale's then not friends with Alex, even though they are technically both friends now. So we need to merge in the other side of the relationship. So we end up with, uh, you know, Dale being friends with Alex, even though Alex added Dale. Otherwise, we're just going to end up with, you know, Alex being friends with Dale and Dale isn't friends with Alex. So hopefully that makes sense. What we do is from this, where accepted equals true, we get these results, which is a collection now. And then we merge in 
the friend of relationship. So we just say this friend of, and again, we say where accepted is true. And we get that result. And this should be where pivot. So we need to test this out. So we're going to find a uh, location we can output a list of the user's friends. And when best to do that than the user profile. So on the user profile, we have profile.index. We can actually just go ahead and do this straight away. So if we head over to our resources, views, profile, index, we can actually output a list of the friends here. So if we have an H4 here and we say user get first name or username, friends, so let's just preview this. I think we have that method available. Yeah, so Alex is friends. And then down here, we're going to loop through that new friends method that we've created. So all we do is a quick if statement to check if we do actually have any friends. So we have an else and an end if here. The condition is if not user friends count, you can do this a little bit differently if you want. Then we're just going to say user get first name or username has no friends. Now, otherwise, well, we can just check this at the moment. I shouldn't have any friends. Ah, and you can see here that because we're accessing this relationship, it's giving me an error because I've put friends ID rather than friend ID. So let's just quickly fix that up now. So let's find out where that is here. So friends ID, we need to change that. And then this should work. So Alex has no friends. So uh, now what we want to do is we want to loop through the friends. So we can say for each and end that for each user friends as user. And then in here, remember we have our user block template so we can include that. So user partials, user block. So let's check this out. We sh still should see no friends. But what we can now do is we can manually add a friend in. And we can keep an eye on the results here. And we can even go ahead and keep an eye on the results for Dale as well, so Dale's profile. Let's go ahead and just duplicate this and go over to two users. So we'll keep an eye on both of these. And then we can even add a third user to test them as well. So over in users, we've got user ID one and two. So if we add in one and two there, if we hit enter, still don't have any friends and we still don't have any friends here either because this hasn't been accepted. That was the condition. So if I change that to accepted one, we now have a friend for, uh, for Dale and a friend for Alex. Now, remember I said earlier, and just, to, just so this is perfectly clear, when we did friend, we uh, merged in the other relationship. Now, if we hadn't have done that, so if we just get rid of that, this means that if Alex added Dale, which is the case here, so Alex added Dale, then Dale is now no longer friends with Alex because, you know, that doesn't make sense if you think of it that way. The other way around, this is to create two records, but it becomes incredibly complicated. So it's much easier to just create two relationships and then merge them in using one method. So now we have that set up. Let's just uh, have a look and work this out for another user. So for Billy, if we make Billy friends with Dale as well, so three friends with two, and we accept it. And Billy now has Dale as a friend, and Dale now has Alex and Billy as a friend, and obviously Alex just has Dale as a friend. So that is our friends relationship and outputting the list of the user's friends to the profile. Next, we'll just be looking at creating our friends page, which is going to one, show us a list of our current friends, and then eventually it'll allow us to see our friend requests.